I have been told that I'm an aberration, but I didn't know whether to take that as a compliment or an insult. What's going on, Power Director peeps? It's Saturday, and today I'm going to show you how to do the RGB or aberration effect using Power Director 18 and Power Director 365. If you're new to my channel and you want to learn how to use Power Director, click the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. Here we are in Power Director. The RBG shift or chromatic aberration effect is a cool effect that shifts the red, green, and blue spectrums of light. It's kind of like when light passes through a lens or a crystal and you see a rainbow. But this effect ain't about Dorothy, the Wiz, and we ain't going over the rainbow. Let's get shifty. As you can see, I have a clip on my timeline. It's a clip of a dude fixing some stuff, doing his thing. You know, changing a tie, doing whatever he needs to do to get by. Okay? Now, I want to start off with the chromatic aberration, and then I want to shift it back to the normal clip. So I'm going to start this off by splitting the clip where I want the effect to occur. So I'm just going to move my playhead to a spot where I want this to go down. I like that right there. So I'm going to do Control T and it'll split the clip right there. Next, I'll add the effect to create the RGB shift to the first section of this clip. So I'm gonna left click on the first section. I'm gonna go to effects. I'm gonna go to third party. I'm gonna go to Boris effects stylize. And I'm gonna drag this BCC alignment effect I'm going to left click, hold down my mouse, I'm going to drag this onto this clip and let it go. And now you see we all kind of shifty, we real shifty. As you can see here, the red, the green, and the blue are shifted. So it's this misaligned creating that chromatic aberration effect. Now, I don't like how it looks. I want to go ahead and make these, the, the red, green, and blue a little bit closer. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this eye down here on the clip. And then I'm going to click on BCC misalignment, which is the effect that I added. So here, if you want to, you can go ahead and change the intensity of the red, blue, and green all you want to. I'm just going to go ahead and change the offset of the red and the blue. So for the red offset, I'm going to click on position. And it pops up this little box. And you can see here in the middle, there's a red dot. If you place your cursor on the red dot, it'll turn to a little hand and a pointer. You hold down your left mouse and you drag it to where you want it to go. And I think that's pretty good there. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on okay. And now I wanna move the blue offset. So I'm gonna click on position. Once again, I'm gonna place my cursor over this little red dot. It'll change to the hand, hold down my left mouse. I'm gonna drag this over to the side. And that looks pretty good there. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. Now I want to add some shake and bake, all Ricky Bobby style, where the change will occur. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the end key on my keyboard, and it's going to send my playhead to the end of the first clip right where I created that split. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on the back button. And I have it set to go to the previous frame, so it's going to move back one frame each time I click on it. And I want to move it back six frames. And now I'm going to go ahead and do control T to split this clip. And I've created a little section right here in the middle. So I want to add that effect to this to make it shake a little bit. So I'm going to left click on it to make sure that it's selected. I'm going to go to effects. And here I'm going to go to style effect. I'm going to go down to visual and there's an effect on here that's called quake. I'm going to left click it with my mouse and I'm going to drag it down to this middle clip. Once it's highlighted with that yellow border around it, I'm going to let go of my mouse and now that effect is applied to it. Now you can change the settings for this. If you want to, you can left click on this eye and then you can left click on quake. I'm going to leave all the settings the way that they are. I'm not really concerned about them. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Now, since the misalignment effect and the quake effect 
move the clip inside of the frame. I'm going to scale each clip out so that they're matching the size of the frame. You're not seeing any type of borders around the outside of the clip. So I'm going to double click on this first clip. I'm going to go to object settings. And I want to move my scale up to the position I want and hit enter. You might need to go ahead and do some additional steps. What I would tell you that you should do is go ahead and click on this little box down here and choose grid lines and you can do whatever grid you want. Wherever the end of these are is where the clip's going to be as far as whether it's in frame or not. See, right now, I've still got a little bit of black showing on the sides here. So you could go up a little bit more if you want. And it pretty much takes care of that. And click on OK. Then I'll go to the second clip. Double click on that one. Go to object settings. And the scale, I'm going to change this one and hit enter. I made that one larger because the quake actually has a, a larger impact on showing black bars around it. So I made that one a little bit bigger. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And we'll go to the last clip here. Double click on that. And we'll make the object settings match the first clip that we did and we'll go ahead and click on OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and left click on the timeline where it's empty. I'm going to go ahead and click on the home key on my keyboard that will send my playhead back to the beginning of the clip or the beginning of the timeline. And then we can go ahead and click on play and see what it looks like. The Notorious RGB. If you like what you see, I'll leave some links to my Power Director in the video description. I know you want more Power Director love, so be sure to click on these videos to watch more of my content and smash my cartoon face to subscribe. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below.